and he joins us via Zoom this afternoon. Robbie, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I am doing great as well. Okay, so there's no food. There's no chef hat. Uh, we're not in a kitchen. We're talking about getting healthy. What's been going on? Yeah, so uh, I think it all starts with being on television. I think seeing yourself on television um, in the way that I did, you know, inspired me to maybe get my health uh, and life straight. So uh, right now I'm just on a fitness and health journey. And I'm also, uh, I'm obviously not where I want to be uh, from a final standpoint, but I want to be able to help people that might be inspired by my journey, uh, get healthier and do healthier things. So where, where do you start? Where does this all begin? So it began right after I, um, uh, right after I was on TV, uh, I was probably at my largest at that point. Uh, I hadn't been on a scale in a while because I was in denial uh, for how uh, how I had gotten. And, you know, obviously cooking delicious food and being in kitchens and things like that will, will help in that uh, getting that way. But for me, um, you know, my focus right now is being fully hydrated. So drink I drink a gallon of water a day, if not a little bit more. Um, moving my body every single day. And then I count my macronutrients, so proteins, carbs, and fats. I have goals to hit for each day, and I count those on a daily basis. Probably the hardest part for uh, anyone who's trying to lose weight is, is getting that motivation to get started, taking that first step. Any tips you have there? Yeah, so I would say, you know, you have to get in tune with uh, with why you want to do it, why you want to lose weight. Certainly, looking better is always uh, motivation. You know, certain people have motivational pictures of where they don't want to go or where they do want to go, and I think both of those are great. You know, I certainly have my my before pictures that are a lot of motivation, but the biggest thing that I can think is to seek out people where, you know, we're all on our phones, we're on Instagram, Facebook, we're all on social media, but find people that live the type of life that you want to live or have had the type of transformation that you've had or you would like to have. And just kind of like, as you're consuming content, it's all about what you choose to consume. So try and find people that you want to emulate and maybe friend them or follow them and then mute out some of the other things in your life that don't don't make a lot of sense for you in the, the future that you're trying to have. Sure, sure. And of course, keeping track of everything you eat is important as well, right? Absolutely. If it doesn't get uh, if it doesn't get measured, it doesn't get managed. So tracking is super important. And with the people that have uh, I've been lucky enough to ask me to help them with their journey, that is the one thing that I require on a consistent daily basis. Is you have to track everything that you consume even if you have quote a bad day or maybe you eat something bad and i don't really necessarily believe in that um but if you do that track it so you're aware of it aware of what emotional state you were in or what stress state you were in that made you you know go that route and then just get back on the horse the next day and that's the good thing about tracking and macros because i've tried all of I've tried all the diets. I've tried all of the things. And this for me is what's sustainable because as a chef, I might have a day where today is a burger tasting and we're going to try burgers, but I can track those burgers using, using apps and things like that versus having a, you know, a no gluten diet or a paleo diet and all of those things work. But for me, this is more sustainable because I can kind of eat a, a wider variety of foods without feeling like I'm restricting myself. Yeah, and then and then it eventually becomes habit and easy. Uh, I'm not at the easy part yet, but I'm looking forward <laughs> to when it's more uh, when it's more ingrained in my habits and routines. But yeah, absolutely, it's it's just it's what people don't understand is is weight loss or or a healthy journey. Maybe you're trying to gain muscle. It's not linear. It doesn't go in a straight yeah. line. You know, you have your ups sure. and your downs and things like that. And it's completely natural to have those. You have to allow yourself to have those things and just make sure that the trend is in the right direction. Just move on to the next day. Robbie Chester with Full Circle Food. Thank you so much for uh, filling us in on your journey. We're going to check back in with you and see how it's going a little on down the road. Thank you very much. Have a great afternoon.